What is desire? And is it possible to desire too much? Well, we're going to talk about that tonight. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the highest and best version of yourself. Guys, welcome back. Tonight, desire. I've talked about desire. The desire is good, right? It's only when we, when we put too much resistance on it and get into that state of wanting too much or getting attached to our desires that it hurts our manifestations. But desire is, is that God seed in us. Desire in you is that divinity wanting to become more, wanting to expanding, wanting to live more. God became us so we could become him. That consciousness is, that intelligent consciousness, that, that, that unconditioned consciousness is constantly expanding forevermore as you are. And so when you feel desires, that's that God in you wanting to express life through you. That's why you feel a lot of desire sometimes. And it can, be, it can be of money, it can be of things, it can be of experiences, it can be travel, it can be a sexual desire, it can be any desire, right? A desire just to live more, to be more, to experience more. Desire is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's when we put a lot of resistance on it, when we, when we go to extremes with it, when we, uh, when, we, when we get unbalanced with it, right? But desire is who we are. We're here to expand more. God became us so we could become him, so he could expand. And, 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 and you know, that, uh, that unconditioned consciousness is all there is, all there was and all there will ever be. It's the light and the dark. So that unconditioned consciousness, unless it comes down in a contextual framework, the duality of where we are, it does not know the different, because it's so supreme, it doesn't know what the unsupreme is. So it became us, so it could experience that. So we're always expanding, we're always becoming more. Desire is a good thing. It's God consciousness constantly expanding. That's why you feel it. That's why you feel a desire for more money, a desire for more education, a desire to, to just be more, to, be, to, to love more, to, to uh, learn new things, a desire to, um, uh, it's an unending desire. We were taught, right, when we were small, that you shouldn't desire too much because there's people that don't have the stuff that you have and, and not everybody, you can't always have what you want. This is the stuff we were taught, guys. These are bogus beliefs. Of course you can have what you want. Desire is good. Again, unbalanced or two, or two extremes is when you, build, when you put resistance in. So, you know, uh, it's the balanced desire, right? Again, whenever there's resistance, that, that interrupts your creation. Then you start contracting, right? And that's when fear comes in. So desire, with, when, if, if you attract fear to it, then, then that desire gets off balance. But when it's love, when it's that love of the God consciousness living through us, wanting to live more, wanting to expand more, that's a good thing. And, and so when you feel bad, what do you think that, why do you think that is? It's because you're cutting off that desire. You're not, you're, you're, th that desire, that God in you, wants to expand and, and is um, uh, Abraham Hicks, the spiritual teacher that, uh, that, that uh, channels that, that, that uh, non-physical beings, Abraham, always says that if you don't keep up with your expanding, that's why you feel bad. You're not going with it. Well, this is the case, guys. When you feel bad, you're not going with your expansion. You have fear sets in, doubt sets in, you watch, you look at others around you, you look at the reality around you, you see, you see somebody who's not doing well, and then you feel bad about your own success, your own thriving. We're all here to thrive. We're not here to just survive. We're not here to struggle. Everybody has the same God seed. Everybody has that same opportunity. And you can't help others unless you're going with your expansion. So sometimes we think, well, I, I really want to just help others and, and I, shouldn't, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't love too much, I shouldn't expand too much because they can't. Guys, you can't help them unless you're lined up totally with that God consciousness. When you're lined up and you're thriving and you have a lot of money and you have a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of love and, you, and you're in perfect line and your health is perfect, and that's when you can help others, that's the enabling. But if you cut yourself off from it because you feel bad, that you, that you have too much and others don't have enough, then 
you can't help anybody like that. You can't help anyone from a weak spot like that, right? Remember, the universe is unlimited. It's not about competition. When you do well, you're not taking from others, right? It's not about competing for resources. You don't compete for the... It, there's, there's people on earth that just compete for the already created things. They compete and try to get it from others. You're a creator. You, you create from the uncreated, from that infinite field of potential. You pull in the new stuff, right? You don't need to compete for the, already, for the stuff that's already created, right? You don't need to bang it out. So that intelligence is always seeking fuller expansion. That intelligence, that God consciousness, that quantum field, that, that energy, that substance is inside you. So that's why when you get angry, when you uh, get depressed, when you're feeling down in yourself, that's because you're not going with your expansion. You're not going with that God consciousness. You are disconnected from it. And that's why you feel bad. So it, it, you, you go, no, I feel bad because of a certain event or someone said something to me. I broke up with my girlfriend or my boyfriend or, or someone close to me passed away. This is why I feel bad. No, you feel bad because you disconnected from that divinity. If you stay connected, then you're going to be feeling that love. You might have sadness when someone departs, but you're connected. You're not, you're not, you're, you, you understand it, but you also understand the bigger picture. Very important, guys, right? You don't need to sacrifice. You don't need to suffer. You don't need to envy or, or be jealous or covet other people's stuff because it's unlimited. You get to create whatever you want. You don't need to get what they have. They're there for their own expansion and, and you're here for yours. So I wanted to get back to desire because we did the money lesson earlier. And, and guys, it's okay. It's okay to want money. It's okay to want things, houses, cars, whatever you want. The material stuff's okay. That is a demonstration of your spirituality. It's all energy. It's all creation. It's only when we take things to extremes that we get unbalanced, we create resistance, and we get, and we get, and the universe knocks us off our uh, creative platform, right? We start creating things that we don't want. So as long as you're always desiring out of love, out of that divinity, it's a good thing and it's unlimited. So the answer is you can never desire enough when you're lined up with that divinity, right? When, you're, when it's out of love. <clears throat> Create. You don't have to compete for the already manifested. You don't have to compete. There's not a limited amount of money. There's not a limited amount of resources. There's not a limited when you're when you're healthy, you're not taking health from somebody else. If you see someone sick, you're going, oh, uh, I think Abraham Hicks uses this example. Oh, I'm too healthy. I, I should get sick because that person needs some help. No, there's, it's unlimited. It's silly, right? Or I have too much money and that person doesn't have enough. Guys, it, it, when you are whole, that's what, that's what wholeness is. That's what holy is. Holy is being whole, full, connected to your divinity. When you're doing that, you're going it, to, it's not about taking from others, it's about creating. You're helping everybody when you're, when you're thriving. You're helping because we're all connected, we're all energy, we're all held by that invisible string of energy. You're helping others when you're, when you're as, as aligned as you can be. It's all, again, it's only when we, when we take it for extremes that the universe steps in and balance forces take effect. And then you see people that make a lot and then, or some other part of their life is falling apart. That's the balance forces, right? There's no reason why you can't have everything you want. There's not reason that you can't desire everything you want. Desire is good. If, if you got that bogus belief, if you were taught desire is bad, get that out of your head, guys. That's limiting you. We are unlimited beings. We, the, that's why we feel bad. That's why we feel that knot in our stomach or that or when we get up in the morning is because we're cutting ourselves off from desire. If you let that desire flow, if you let that God consciousness flow through you, it's impossible to feel bad. But that's when you feel bad. You, that's, it's not because of the, that you haven't uh, met the right person. It hasn't because you haven't got the, the you hadn't started the company, you haven't become an entrepreneur because you wanted to, or you didn't get the job promotion, or you didn't get the award, or you didn't do well in school. None of that's the reason you feel bad. It's because you disconnected from that God consciousness. That's always and only the reason you feel bad. It's the reason behind the reason, right? So the, the other stuff is just, those are, those are just events. You should take those as neutral, 
right? Remember, it's your relationship to everything, your life that determines who you are and what kind of life you're going to live, right? Higher consciousness is unlimited. You don't have to compete for the spoils, right? You don't have to bang it out in physical reality and compete for the spoils, even though even, I don't care how much money has already been created, how much wealth has already been created in the world. Those are spoils. You don't have to compete for that. You can create more and new. That's what God consciousness is. That's who you are. So stop battling out, guys, and being competitive and, and for the job or the money or the girl or the guy or the love or the, or the travel or whatever it is. You don't have to. You don't have to. You're unlimited. You can create and attract whatever you want. No need to ever look over your shoulder, right? You're, you run your own race, and it's not even a race. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a, a, a jaunt through a beautiful life experience, and that's, what, that's, what your, that's your inheritance, right? All the other stuff we create, all the obstacles, all the, all the suffering, all the striving, that's all created, guys. It's all the put-up things so we can write books that we overcame obstacles and we finally, we finally became rich or we finally became successful. No, you were born that way. And so you can just, you can be as you are and feel that expansion, right? Just remember, the next time you feel bad about anything, it's not the situation. Establish your relationship to it. Don't suppress emotions. Reestablish your relationship you have to that event, and then the emotions will become great emotions, right? It's just your disconnection. That's what I wanted to get on tonight. It was desire that I wanted to hit, and I wanted to say it's unlimited and it's okay. Desire, guys. Again, it, it, when it's desire out of love, desire and keeping balance with nature and, and the universe, that's proper, that's unlimited desire, and that's a good thing, right? The only, it's only when it, when, it, when, um, when it becomes excessive in one area that throws, you, that throws resistance on your path and throws you off from creating and you start attracting things you don't want, right? Focus on what you want. It's a sure bet, yeah? I had to get this in, guys. I had to talk about this on Desire. Really pumped up about it. You're here to become more, expand more. God wants to express life through you. That, that supreme being, that supreme consciousness, that, that unconditioned consciousness wants to condition and experience conditions here through you. So you can be anything and you can reach up. And, and when I say reach up, it's reach within, right? So above, so below, as above, as below, so within, so, so out, so within. So this is the idea. Express that fuller intelligence, guys. Yep. No reason to feel bad. The only reason is because we're squelching our desires. And that never feels good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Until next time, this is Tom Kieran with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like the video, and share it, and subscribe. We love subscribers, and uh, I hope you join Be Something Wonderful channel because we got a lot more to come. This is Tom. Until next time, see you soon.